Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. It's cold, it's wet, we've had snow flurries, it's very overcast, it's not a nice day at all, but you know what? I'm going fishing anyway. And that's what you have to do if you're an angler, not concentrate on the conditions, although I am concentrating on what I'm treading through the undergrowth here, not concentrate on the conditions, but you know what? Just get out bankside anyway because the reality is that you'll never catch a toad sitting by a warm fire. And I must admit, I'm not even tempted by that today. I love the great outdoors. It's nice to fish in the summer, those long summer days and short summer nights, when you're out there right the way through, wearing t-shirt and shorts. But equally so, I'm happy during February and the winter months when I'm wrapped up warm because the common denominator is I'm fishing. Anyway, I've just arrived now. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to getting a bait in the water. And here you go, <laughs> first cast. And I'll tell you what, it's a very lively roach, only a small one. I am fishing a tiny, tiny brook though. Look at that. Perfect in miniature. That's going right back now and I don't get many opportunities in each swim because they are like aquariums. The fish are concentrated, I catch what I can, the fishing goes dead and then I move on. The telescopic mini rod and reel that you've seen me fishing with so far, that has been a real blessing as far as my angling is concerned. I've owned it for less than a year now and I bought it to give me the chance to get more sessions in. I have a very busy life. My angling adventures are limited in terms of taking full days or more out, especially so in the last three seasons, football seasons that is, as I've got more and more involved with the New Saints, the Champions of Wales, and I'm not complaining about that. But what it has meant is that I've had to organize a lot of things in my life, and I'm watching the, the rod right now, I've had to organise a lot of things in my life to fit around the world of football and I'm not complaining but this mini rod and reel and I'm getting a developing tap here I'll tell you what let's go for it yep yeah, I've got one on this mini rod and reel has oh, it's just come off oh can you believe it that was a roach well quite a big roach for the venue that was a roach of about three to four ounces well this setup has been a complete revelation as you can see there's the reel there's a the rod it's about three foot fully made up and i can actually keep the hook the lead and the shot and the bead because that's a very simple setup that i'm fishing with there i can keep that on all intact all i need to do wrap a velcro band around it and then when i get the water's edge get it all set up, put a maggot on, cast out, and away you go. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna to have a session that will last less than one hour. Now that is making the most of every opportunity. I did catch, as you can see, from the fish on the screen, including a lovely, plump gudgeon. A nice turn up for the books. Not a complete surprise though, they are in here, and I do catch one or two along the way. No bullet though. I'm in a final swim, Again, another bend, that's where you head for on places like this, especially that's where the deeper water is, whether it's a major river or a tiny brook, but especially in the case of the latter, where you need to get the deeper water, relatively speaking, for the venue, that's where you set up on. So, a final few minutes to take me up to dark, and I've just had my first little tap there, will I catch another fish for the camera? I'm ready to call it quits now. We are right on dark. No more fish, no more bites after the initial cast that I had into this particular swim. But do you know what? I've caught roach, gudgeon, but above all, and this is what really counts, I've enjoyed it. And as far as I'm concerned, that is what angling is all about.